Every meal we eat begins in the soil. Yet around the world, that foundation is crumbling. Industrial farming has fed billions, but at a staggering cost. 24 billion tons of fertile soil lost each year. Rivers once teeming with life now run thick with chemical runoff. Farming, once a covenant with nature, has become one of the largest drivers of climate change. And yet, as our planet warms and populations rise, agriculture is more vital than ever. The way we grow food is pushing us toward crisis, but also holds the key to survival. In the face of drought, flood, and fire, a new movement is emerging. One that doesn't just sustain the land, but restores it. It's called regenerative agriculture. And it may be our best hope for feeding the future. What is regenerative agriculture? Regenerative agriculture is more than a set of techniques. It is a philosophy. At its core is the recognition that soil is alive. Beneath every footstep of ground lies an unseen world of bacteria, fungi, and organisms that build the fertility of the land. Conventional farming has waged war on this living web plowing fields bare, drenching them with synthetic chemicals, stripping them of resilience. Regenerative farming works in the opposite direction. It seeks to heal the land by mimicking nature's own cycles. Cover crops shield the soil from wind and rain, feeding it with organic matter as they decompose. Diverse plantings attract pollinators and beneficial insects, reducing the need for pesticides. Instead of extracting fertility, farmers give back to the soil, trusting it will return the favor in abundance. The goal is not simply higher yields. It's richer soil. Cleaner water, healthier food, and farming systems that can withstand the shocks of a changing climate. The science of living soil. The soil beneath us is more than dirt. It is the largest living community on Earth. A single teaspoon of healthy soil can contain more microorganisms than there are people on the planet. Together, these organisms recycle nutrients, fix nitrogen from the air, and form underground networks that connect plants in astonishing ways. One of their most vital functions is carbon storage. Through photosynthesis, plants draw carbon dioxide from the air, sending it down into their roots. Soil organisms capture and stabilize this carbon, locking it away underground. For centuries, this process kept our atmosphere in balance. But plowing, deforestation, and chemical farming have broken that cycle, releasing vast stores of carbon into the sky. Regenerative practices reverse the damage. When farmers reduce tillage, plant cover crops, and graze animals responsibly, they rebuild soil organic matter. Each year, acre by acre, farmland transforms into a living sponge, absorbing water, holding nutrients, and storing carbon safely below our feet. Practices in Action What does regenerative agriculture look like on the ground? It takes many forms, each shaped by local ecosystems and traditions. In crop fields, farmers sow cover crops like clover, rye, or radishes between harvests. These plants protect bare soil, break up compaction, and return nutrients as they decompose. Instead of deep plowing, farmers drill seeds directly into the soil a method known as no-till planting. This protects fragile microbial life while reducing erosion. Agroforestry blends trees with crops and livestock. Rows of fruit or nut trees provide shade, habitat, and an additional harvest. Their roots stabilize the soil and draw nutrients from deep underground. Livestock play a surprising role as well. On regenerative ranches, Cattle are moved frequently across pastures, mimicking the natural movements of wild herds. Their hooves press seeds into the ground, while their manure fertilizes the soil. Left too long, animals degrade land. Moved often, they restore it. Each of these practices shares a common thread. They work with natural systems, not against them. Waste becomes resource. Scarcity becomes abundance 
and fields once eroded and lifeless slowly come alive again. Buzzing with insects, teeming with birds, rich with earthworms beneath the surface. Regeneration is not a single technique. It is a mindset. One that asks, how can every action on the farm leave the land better than it was before? Global case studies, from small family farms to vast rangelands, regenerative agriculture is taking root around the world. In the American Midwest, where soil erosion has scarred the land for generations, farmers are replanting cover crops and restoring prairie grasses. Fields once stripped bare by corn and soy rotations now hum with biodiversity, their soils holding more water and yielding more resilient harvests. In Australia, regenerative ranchers face the harshest test of all drought. By carefully managing grazing patterns, they've transformed brittle, dusty paddocks into lush pastures that retain moisture and resist desertification. In India, smallholder farmers are combining regenerative practices with traditional wisdom. By intercropping pulses, grains, and vegetables, they not only enrich the soil, but also secure diverse food for their families and communities. And in Africa, regenerative methods are helping farmers adapt to shifting rains. Water, harvesting trenches and agroforestry systems, turn arid landscapes into productive, self-sustaining farms. The diversity of these examples proves a crucial point. Regenerative agriculture is not a one, size, fits, all recipe. It is a toolkit, adaptable to climates, cultures, and communities. What unites them is the principle of working with nature's rhythms, not imposing human control over them. Across continents, farmers are rediscovering a truth their ancestors always knew. When we care for the land, the land cares for us. Climate and water benefits. As climate change accelerates, agriculture is both culprit and victim. But regenerative farming offers a pathway to resilience. Healthy soils act like sponges, absorbing rainfall and reducing floods. In times of drought, they hold on to moisture, sustaining crops long after conventional fields have withered. By storing carbon underground, regenerative practices also help cool the planet, turning farms from carbon sources into carbon sinks. Water, too, is transformed. Instead of washing away fertilizers and pesticides, regenerative farms filter and purify it. Streams run cleaner, aquifers refill, and ecosystems downstream thrive. Each field becomes not just a food source, but a safeguard for climate stability and water security. The philosophy farming as relationship at its heart, regenerative agriculture, is not about techniques. It is about relationship. For too long, farming has been seen as extraction land as factory, animals as machines, soil as lifeless medium. Regeneration asks us to see differently. It reminds us that soil is a living community, that animals are partners, not products, that farmers are stewards, not owners. In this worldview, profit and productivity matter, but so do resilience, biodiversity, and the well, being of future generations. It is a philosophy that honors cycles of life and death, growth and decay, abundance and renewal. And it asks what kind of ancestors will we be? The story of farming is the story of humanity. For 10,000 years, we have shaped the land, and it has shaped us in return. In the age of climate crisis, that relationship stands at a crossroads. We can continue down the path of extraction, watching soil and water slip away. Or we can choose regeneration, restoring what was broken, healing what was harmed. The soil remembers how to live. The land knows how to heal. The question is not whether regeneration is possible. The question is whether we are ready to listen.